Guys, it's 4.30 or something? 3.42. 3.42. I don't know what time it is. <laughs> it's, it's still Sunday. The day after daylight savings time. The day in which I'm always tired this day. Well, we push the clocks back so you can yeah. later. I just don't understand why we do it to begin with, and it always throws my whole body off. Anyway, it's drizzling, but we're going to go see if we can get some steps in before it starts pouring down any harder. Before it gets too dark. Before, and before it gets too dark. So we'll see what we can see. Maybe I can take a couple pictures I can sketch from, because I need to finish up that sketchbook. So let's see what we can find. I'll be back. I would say happy Monday morning, but it's Monday afternoon. <laughs> it's uh, just after three o'clock. Monday, November, I don't know, 7th. Um, I spent the morning working on more pain pigments. I don't know what the deal is with me. Anyway, really interesting experiment with pansies, purple pansies. Got kind of a blue color when I used just the crushed flower petals, dried flower petals. I added a little baking soda, it got green. I added a little vinegar, it got sort of a bluey purple. Having a lot of fun with it. Um, I have decided to add a little bit of clove oil to all the paints so they don't get moldy. Um, I have a couple that I already took off the coffee filters, but they're not quite like dry like they should be. So I'm gonna leave them in jars and open for a bit. I've got some more that are just taking a really long time to dry because it's cold. Um, if I thought about it, I would have put them on parchment paper instead of wax paper, then I could dehydrate them in the oven, but I didn't, so there you have it. Anyway, hopefully they'll dry out before they get moldy, but we'll see. <laughs> All right, what else? It is rainy outside again. Welcome to fall in Portland. Um, although our temperatures are colder than they usually are right around now, and uh, we have chances of snow and snow flurries, like it's a month or two early for that. So anyway, I'm going to put some office supplies away that I just keep walking around. I don't know why. I'm also going to download the vlog footage from last week, which I haven't done yet. So I <sighs> guess I better get to it, huh? All right, I'll be back. It could be 530. <laughs> Listening to some YouTube in the background while I'm finishing up a few projects and cleaning the art room, putting some things away. I have some clips from making pigments from my phone that I don't like, so I'm going to delete them and refilm some stuff. But anyway, I'm working on paint pigments. This is... She's created with pen and ink and... Botanical pigments. Pretty cool. Anyway, um, I, even, I even made a pencil bag. I had no intention of making a pencil bag, but I have this um, portable sketch kit, um, painting kit, that didn't fit in anything else that I had, and I'm not going to buy anything. I've got fabric. I've got zippers. It took me like 15 minutes. I mean, you know, if you want a tutorial on that, I guess I could do one. Leave something down in the comments. Anyway, I'm going to go downstairs and occupy myself. <laughs> Turn things off up here. I think I'm done for today in the art room. Um, and I'm going to go downstairs. I've got a couple things to do down there. Bob has a late meeting. So, yeah, all the things for the things because of the things, right? Okay. I'll be back. Good morning. It's just after 9 a.m. on Wednesday, November 8th. I don't get excited. I've been up for a little bit. Letty is here at the house doing her thing. It is freezing outside. It's 40 degrees. That's what my car says it is. I have a feeling it might be colder. Um, anyway, I'm going to go run over to Dollar Tree. Everything is like foggy. Hold on. I can kind of see out the back window. The rear camera is all fogged up because it's too cold and my car is old. Uh, anyway, 
I've got to run over to Dollar Tree because I need some stuff for my paint making adventures. I'm out of containers to hold the pigments. Um, and so I need to go get some more things. So I'm gonna go run and do that really quick this morning. Bob is home, he's upstairs. Hold on. Okay, Bob is home, he's upstairs working and Letty is doing her thing. And I will, as per usual, when things are being worked on at the house, whether it's cleaning or construction or whatever, I will hide away in the art room. Not a problem for me. Um, and, um, Okay. It must be winter or walking in the dark. The squish, the please don't squish me glow in the dark straps, which you can't really, there we go. Have come out of hibernation. Yeah, to love the flashlights. Anyway, Woody got the house clean for me. I got some stuff done up in the art room I needed to get done. Mr. Bob's off of work finally. So we're gonna go get some steps in. I'll be back. I'm gonna videotape this because I'm gonna brag. Okay. Uh, we've been bad the last few months about getting 10,000 steps a day for lots of reasons. I'm gonna blame it on the weather, but <laughs> I think we're just allowing some laziness to set in. But anyway, we just did an 18 minute mile. I'm pretty proud of that. Yeah, we have. We're, we're about 20 minutes. Yeah, 19 sometimes or 20 most of the time. Not 18. Like, that hasn't happened in a while, so I'm pretty proud about that. That's over three miles an hour on average. I'm okay with it. All right. And of course. Good morning. It is Wednesday, November 9th, I think. It's not even 10 a.m. yet. And the contractor's have been here and gone. He fixed a couple issues with the piping under the house that um, weren't quite, quite to code the last time he worked on it. There was no leaks or anything. He just wanted to make sure it was to code. And he fixed a couple issues with the kitchen cabinet doors. And um, we're all good. Now we're just waiting for the tile guy. Now I get to put all of that stuff back in the closet under the stairs. And like, it's only, what is it? The stove says it's 9.32. And we're done already for the day. Like, that's amazing. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my time. I had nothing planned and my pigments upstairs aren't dried yet. So I don't know, but let's get the closet put back together first and then I'll figure it out. I'll be back. So everything is put away. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do, check what temperature it is outside. It's cold. Oh yeah. It's 38 degrees outside. Yeah, anyway, um, <laughs> hello winter. Um, I am going to, I picked some more purple pansies. So I'm going to set them up um, <clears throat> 
to do, I already did an earth type pigment with them. I'm gonna do a lake pigment. Again, I do have, I plan on doing a video on this whole process soon, um, but go to the channel Alchemical Arts. He, he has just, his whole channel is about this. So anyway, um, I'm gonna basically chop those up and soak them in some water. <laughs> And so when COVID first started, I stopped carrying a handbag. Most of the time when I leave the house, I make sure I have pockets and I just have this and my phone, which we're talking on, my sunglasses if needed, and then my lanyard with my keys and inhaler on it. That, that's all I carry. Lan of course, the lanyard's around my neck or in a coat pocket if I've got a jacket with big enough pockets. This is usually in my pants pocket. These are on my head, on the brain. I mean, yeah, so I haven't even looked in here and I don't even know how long. I'm not gonna get rid of the handbag. I got this as a Christmas present right before COVID. I love it. It's a fossil bag. It is leather. It's wonderful, but I do think I'm gonna try to put my daily drawing not daily drawing, sorry. My sketch walk stuff in it and arrange it so that if I want to take my handbag out because I'm going on a sketch walk or we're going on a road trip or something, I can throw my daily stuff in the bag. It's got sketching stuff in it and we can just go. I don't need this one and that one. I don't think. I mean, I'm not gonna get rid of either bag. This one will just go back in the closet for storage. I'll use it when I'm traveling. I have this one and I also have a donut backpack and they actually work really well. But um, that's what I'm thinking. Let's see if I can manage it because I have no idea. cut that video a little short because I had a little visit from the little ones next door. We can't show their faces on camera, but they are the cutest thing. Berkeley and lively. Anyway, um, cleaning out the handbag situation led to me cleaning out the handbag closet in the bedroom. And yeah, now we have a bag of donations. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway, and earlier... I don't know if I said or not, but earlier I cleaned out part of my closet that I've been kind of ignoring. I think when you can put the dresses on without unzipping them, they're probably too big. Um, anyway. You know, I always think I'm done with the purging and then I find another stash of stuff. What was I thinking? I'll be back. I think I can say good morning because I don't think it's lunchtime yet, but it's just after 11 o'clock on Thursday, November 10th. I had my counseling appointment this morning, worked through a few more things, or at least have a game plan for working through a few more things. Wow, a lot of leaves. Um, anyway, so that was good. We're going to go on a sketch walk now. I don't know if I'm going to film any of it. For one thing, I forgot the tripod, but um, we'll see. But also, I just need to sketch. So we're going to go do that, get some steps in. As per usual, because I use my walks as my quiet time. No music other than filming for you all or taking the occasional picture. The phone stays in my pocket. So, all right, let's go get to it. I'll be back. I guess no ducks. You can hear other birds, so. But yep, no ducks.
had another visit from our little neighbor, Berkeley. I think she's five. Anyway, she hung out with me while I drank my bone broth and we had a little chit chat and I did the dishes. And she wanted to help me with chores, but yeah, no. Anyway, she's so cute. <sighs> Gonna check on things up here in the art room. But I have some cho more chores to do downstairs. Yeah, all right. I'll be Morning, back. it's 9.32 a.m. Friday, November 11th. Don't get excited, I looked already. My hair is just, yeah, I don't know what it's doing today. Anyway, we are headed out. I need to pick up some food for family dinner night tonight and a couple other random things. I think I'm gonna go to Fred Meyer because there's some stuff that I need that I can't get at our regular grocery store because they don't have it. And I'm gonna pick up some yarn because I am going to crochet my grandson to be a baby blanket. I have a particular pattern that I like to use for baby blankets. It's called the Little Victory Blanket from Lion Brand. Um, they used to make a yarn called Baby Homespun, which were smaller skeins of their... Oops, sorry, hold on. which were smaller skeins of their textured homespun yarn in baby colors. And they don't make that yarn anymore, um, but they do make their regular homespun. And I do like that yarn because it's very textured. It's a little bit challenging to crochet with, but um, it does make a really cute blanket and it's very washable. So we're gonna go buy Joann's and pick up some of that. Did I mention that my hair looks like a hot mess this morning? Yeah, anyway. So we're gonna go get driving, I have a thought. So I do think I already said on camera, but in case I didn't, I'm gonna be a grandmother. Uh, my daughter is pregnant and it's a little boy. I'm not ever allowed to show you his face on camera or tell you what his name is for privacy reasons. But my question is, leave it in the comments below. Should I be known as Oma, which is the German word for grandmother or Nona? which is the Italian word for grandmother. By the way, I'm Italian by more than 50%. So anyway, what do you think? Let me know. All right, let's go get some yarn. So I got the chores done today. I got the errands done. I got the first of what's gonna be at least two, maybe three watercolor paint making videos done. Yay. Um, Bob's having a very loud conversation with somebody upstairs. I don't know what that's all about, but anyway. Now I'm just waiting for um, Bob to get off of work. And uh, I think it's just our daughter and us for dinner. So that's all cool. I gotta do something with my hair. Like it's just a rat nest today. Anyway, all right. Probably because I didn't wash it today. This is what it looks like. Anyway, all right, that's it for the minute. I don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow, but run more errands, but uh, you know, kind of wanna like go on a little mini road trip or something. We'll see. 10.30 a.m. Saturday, November 12th, I think. I think so. it's the 12th. Um, we were just headed out this morning to go grocery shopping, but evidently we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna go home and unload and put things away. And then evidently we're going crib shopping for the new grandbaby because we've been getting texts from the daughter and son-in-law all morning this morning. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, look what we found. Yeah. This would be nice for the baby. Hint, hint. Just letting you know. Hint, hint, yeah. So anyway, so um, we are gonna do some of that when we're at Costco, which is a big box discount store. And um, for those that don't know, and um, oh, the you know what? My ceiling is wet again in the car. Yeah, it's wet. Uh, anyway, um, so we're gonna go look there and then um, yeah, we'll figure it out. And yes, my car has like window seal leaks and stuff. It's an old car. Anyway, it it's wet? yeah, it's wet. You should call that guy and have a look at it. Yeah, we need to have that. Yeah, supposedly it was fixed, but it's wet again. Anyway, all right. I'll be back. She's done now? She's done. Okay. His GPS is a nag. 
Anyway, I think when I last talked to you guys, it was 10.30 in the morning or something and we're gonna head out to go to the grocery store and that was like gonna be it. Yeah. And then we were gonna go home. It's almost 4.30, 10 for 4.30. Yeah, that's not what happened. <laughs> nope. We ended up baby shopping with the kids for the new grandson to be and we looked at cribs and I think we know what they want. Of course, it's not in stock anywhere. We are gonna get it for them, so we'll go mm -hmm. home. Mr. Bob will have a drink. I'll make myself. You need your bone broth. Bone broth. I, I was going to say coffee, but yeah, I really should have my cup of bone broth. Yeah. Um, and we'll sit and we'll find the best price for the crib that they want and we'll order it for them. Yep. But that's not how we expected the day to go. But no. we did get, well, I got like 12,000 steps or something. I don't know. I think my Fitbit's died. It's out of juice. So anyway, it's been a fun week. It's been a week of unexpected things, but it's been fun. I hope you guys have had fun. Don't forget to stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Enjoy life and enjoy your art and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. We'll see you next week. While well, he gives me the side eye. What? Side eye? <laughs> Bye guys.